Welcome back to another CMAC tutorial. I'm Kyle, and today I want to kick it off with, has this ever happened to you? Why does it say media offline? Why? No. Well, today I want to show you how to prevent this from happening. Now, if you're already missing media, you're going to have to go file, link media, and go find all of your files and link them back up. To prevent this from happening, there's a simple checkbox you can click at the beginning of your project to not even make this a thing. I'm going to start a new Premiere project. I'm going to name my project uh, Ingest Tutorial. I could click Browse and make sure it goes to the right folder, but I've already selected it, so here we go. Uh, I've got my render. I'm on a Mac, so I want it on Metal. Uh, my Scratch Discs, they're same as Project. That's great. Uh, and here's the kicker. It's the Ingest Settings tab. I do want to check on Ingest and uh, the default setting is copy. I could also transcode the files to a more edit-friendly uh, format or create proxies, uh, but this Mac is going to be able to chew through the CMAC camera's footage just fine. I don't need to make proxies or transcode the files, so I'm gonna leave it on copy. Now, I can copy without verification or I can copy with verification. Verification means the program is going to double check that every bit of every video clip gets copied over properly. I'm going to turn on verification just to guarantee every file comes over perfectly. Next, primary destination. Now, it by default says same as project, which is fine. That means my one project folder is going to have my Adobe Premiere project file and all of the media all in the same folder. But if I wanted to be more organized, here's my folder that my project file is getting saved in. Now, I can also create a folder called media just to keep my media files separate from my project file. Now when I click OK, it creates a new project file with my ingest settings turned on. And when I go to import footage, even footage directly off an SD card, it will copy them from the SD card or the other location and save them into that media folder right next to my project file, preventing me from ever needing to see that missing media screen again. That's your CMAC tutorial for today. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or email us at info at cmac.tv, and I'll see you next time.